Today we went to Steak and Shake in Brownsburg, Indiana with my husband's mom and sister to eat after seeing Santa and eating cookies. All right, everyone, we are heading into the Steak and Shake in Brownsburg, Indiana. Is it good or not? Find out when we get in there. We headed over to the self-checkout, put a order in. We order all of our food, and turns out they declined our whole order. And then nobody wanted to help us. Everyone was acting like they were on break and wasn't. Just didn't care. That's the whole thing. That's why like, all this stuff. Just, yeah, you can have him check it, but fucking like, order. Yeah. That would have shot us. Yeah. Up. That's all she had to do. I mean, like I said, they're getting away with. Not we having could have put a fake order in, and they could have avoided it, and then. I mean, good lord. Okay. There's a reason steak and shakes are dying. Yep. Yeah. And that's and Hardee's every single and all one, of them. Every single one. Nobody gives a shit. Okay, I'm going this way to get on the interstate. I go east cashier. So one, they're saving money by not doing that, but when you're making people do their own stuff, be real. Somebody has to be there in case something happens. Not the Amazon stores. Oh, that was that was ridiculous. Nobody was even in there. Tell us what happened. They suck. Nobody even, we had to do our own ordering. She said, are you comfortable with ordering? Well, okay. Yeah, okay, so we did it. And then when their machine didn't take our order, then they went and... Uh, oh, can you send me the picture? We couldn't even get any help to no, order our food, so we walked out, bitches. Uh, tell us how that compares to other steak and shakes, Brittany. <laughs> Pretty much the same as all the steak and shakes. They need to make their fries thicker. Well, the Brownsburg Steak and Shake weren't too good. Baby, tell them why. We love to hear it. 